Okay, so welcome back. Uh, today, what I'm actually going to talk about is, I hate to say it's the most vilified or hated uh, ThinkPad, because I think that's going a little bit overboard. It's actually kind of subjective, but uh, this for me was like the only ThinkPad that I really didn't like, and I actually ended up returning. Uh, many of you have actually heard of the ThinkPad T440, if you're into ThinkPads, and it's notable because... <laughs> Uh, when Lenovo released it, they decided that they wanted to change something that they had been doing for quite some time. And I don't know if it was based primarily on user feedback or they were just trying to bring more people into the fold or, or whatever. Well, when they did, it did not go over well. And it was uh, basically fixed with the next generation. And going back to that, this particular laptop, what they ended up doing is uh, I'm going to step over here and see if I can find a couple of uh, images. Yeah, what they ended up doing is <laughs> all the novels had looked the exact same way for quite some time. And then uh, they decided that they were just going to remove the dedicated button. So what you ended up getting was just a flat surface and they had touch points. And I remember back when I ordered mine, um, it was just, I knew, I didn't think I was going to like it because I had already used track points significantly, I mean, enough that I knew that's what I like, you know. And I've also used track points on other devices, so like Toshiba's, I don't think I tried the Fuji Fujitsu ones, but uh, uh, what was the other one? I had a HP and Dell. And even when I ordered this laptop, I actually ordered uh, some Elite Books and I ordered a Precision just to see if I could even like those. The Elite Book I didn't like immediately because they didn't have the third button. And to me, the synaptics isn't the same. So the sensitivity and all that stuff, didn't really care for that. I bought the Dell. The Dell had three buttons, I believe, but it still kind of felt weird. It wasn't really like using track point. Uh, so I ordered the T440. And what I can say is when I pulled it out, I was like, okay, people talked about the build quality. They went with a lighter build material you know so they were saying that was kind of cheap feeling yada 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 wasn't really worried about that i was only really concerned about am i gonna like the track point because that is what i use and long story short i did not um i tried to adjust everything just to try to make it work because i think overall it was a decent laptop uh but because i couldn't make it work i sent it back and i actually ended up replacing it with the t430 that i still have to this day and you've seen videos about because i've upgraded it quite a bit uh, and I never looked back. The one thing I say about the T430 when I got it, and I was like, well, this is an older laptop. It's probably not going to be as nice as the T440, which was funny because it's a testament to how great some of these things pads are. That one was refurbished, and frankly, I thought it had a much better build quality. Uh, it just felt more robust and substantial in hand. It was bigger. It weighed more. Now, the one thing I will say that I didn't miss about the 440 was the 440 had the power bridge technology, so it actually had a battery built in, so you can hot swap the other battery. I thought that was a really neat feature. They did incorporate that in the future generations after the uh, 430, and then after this, they just kept going with it. So when I bought the uh, X X250, it had power bridge, so neat feature. Frankly, I thought the X250 and that range had a better build quality than the 440 as well. So I think that was just Lenovo listening to the feedback and kind of fixing kind of some of the stuff people were saying. And like I said, they ended up going back to those dedicated track pads or buttons for the track point and there was no complaints. The one thing I can say, if you can find a 440 today, uh, back when I was looking for laptops, I was running across them and they were really cheap because I think that the general sentiment was people did not like them. You can actually change those buttons to the three button, or I should say that, that touch pad to the three button configuration. Uh, had I known this back then, I probably would have just done that. Cause overall, like I said, I thought the laptop was just okay. You know, I'm saying I was hating it. I just didn't like that interface, but you can upgrade it. So if you happen to find one on eBay, super cheap, uh, definitely look at the price of the parts, but it is an option. But other than that, like I said, that's the only ThinkPad that I ever owned that I really didn't care for and I ended up sending back. If you have any questions, feel free, leave them down below, click like, subscribe. And really, I just felt like I wanted to explain the T440 because I had mentioned this in my other videos and this is kind of why. 
uh, I didn't buy it. But once again, click like, subscribe, and Agent Fitch signing out.